Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Siena Saints and the Iona Gales. Number 11 is a player who can handle playing under any pressure situation. He's a star player that we'll keep our eyes on tonight. This young man can really put the ball in a hole. Whether he's inside or outside, he's money. The Gales will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Gales are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. First of all, get the ball on the interior. See if we can get that big man into foul trouble. Second of all, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. And finally, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the board. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Both teams looking to get things going here. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. In and out. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He buries the shot. A lot of pressure on a basketball. Way to play the ball. Tough. Drive him, beat him, turn him. Beat him to his spot. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Joe's patience waiting for the reset. He better get rid of it. He goes for three. He gets the shot to fall. Fed the low block. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Gets it to fall. <laughs> Trying to pack it inside. Turns it over. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Now they work it around the perimeter. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They're going to move it around the perimeter on the outside. Number 11 takes the pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. With the big shot, misses the three. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. And he'll kick it back outside from the top of the circle. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. The ball goes out of bounds. He'll regroup the offense. That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. Up, easy one. Good fake. There's the screen up on top. Tries for two. Number three picks up the foul. First personal foul. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. 
jumps into the defender. Easy one. Moving it around the perimeter. He makes the block, and the ball goes out of bounds. Working it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a double team. Doesn't go. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. The shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Inside, number 21 takes the feed. Look at that spacing. Jumps in. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. First shot is good. Second one is no good. Now the rebound. And have got to get out and pull the lanes, Brad. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They'll work it around the arc. Number 24 gets the ball. Contact causes the shot to come off. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Inside. Great anticipation defensively. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Two shots. Free throw is good. He misses his second shot. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Number double zero gets the pass. He comes away with it. Number double zero is spent right now emotionally, Dick. He needs for something positive to happen, which will light his fire and get him going. two and he missed the center with the ball they strip him in a basketball got a little too fancy too much mustard there baby here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer leans in nice shot around the perimeter 
Trying to draw some contact and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Way off target. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. That spin move is not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because Powell plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Number four comes in for his first go around tonight, Dick. I'll tell you, the offense doesn't miss a beat when this guy comes in. Fake. Nice fake. With a little baby hook. Can't get the shot to go. Got a nice screen. Trying to draw the foul. Here's one more look at it. up with his man and down he goes. Hey Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Number 25 is feeling great right now. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. With the jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Gave it up. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Goes up for two. Sienna are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. It inside puts it up looking for contact up and in excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set Ooh, look at the shot block we got some contact nice hops on the outside for two perfectly executed the student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They look like they're having a blast. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Run them right into the screen again. What did I say? For the bucket, off the rim, and no good. Both teams looking to get things going here. They work the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains the bucket. Wait a minute, let's replay that one. Entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. 
Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Erin? Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post from downtown. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. But I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Stolen ball. Dump it inside. He's open if he wants the shot. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots from the top of the key. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> The ball goes out of play. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Sinks it. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. And an Momentary look from three-point land. Looking for the foul. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. They got to get it going here. On the outside, got a wide-open look. There's the trap. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Moving it around the perimeter. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Goes up for two. Sinks the shot. He pump fakes. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. On the dribble, gives it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. He lets it fly. 
Way off target. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Gave it up. There he is, strips the ball loose. It's a fast break possibility. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Rod. see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Got a man in high post. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Goes. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great. There's a tough shot and one. He wanted that one, baby. He says you got to foul me harder than that. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing Saul in the room. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. And we'll go to the free throw line. He sinks it. The fake. And now they'll bring it up. Another turnover. We're not talking apple turnovers either. For two, he's money with the shot. There they come with a double team to stop it. It's stolen. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Launches away. Off the rim and no good. Look at that spacing. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the circle. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Frustration right there. Shot clock is dead. He gets the bucket to fall. Blocks the shot. He gets that one to fall. Trying to beat the buzzer. At halftime, the Saints lead by 14. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Iona coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half, Dick. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, 
Focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nice high post screen. Drains the shot. Working it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. Nice move with the face up. I tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. From the top of the circle, 10 seconds on the shot clock. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And they get the turnover. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He shows the sweet touch. The Gales are behind by 15. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. With the fake. Jump hook from the low post. In and out. And he'll kick it back outside. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Second shot is no good. I like the idea of having a class cleaner on your team, someone who can get those rebounds. He shoots from the angle, way off target. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Gave it up, tries a three, off the rim and no good. For the bucket. I'll tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. And the ball goes out of bounds. He intercepts it. No foul on that interception. No foul is right, Brad. That's Mr. Clean. On the dribble, gives it up. Shoots it. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop.
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Off the rim and no good. For two, and in and out. There. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. And the ball goes out of play. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork, really excellent on a post play. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Kicked off. Number 25, subpar performance is just destroying his confidence. Well, he knows he's not getting it done. And emotionally, it's bringing him down. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Here's a spin down on the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and add a spin move to the goal. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He strips him clean. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The lane. Can their defense get him back in the game, Dick? I'll tell you, it's going to be a long hike back, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's the pick. There's the roll. He cleans the glass. They're not giving him a chance to get into transition. Great command of the floor. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Way out on top, controlling the ball. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. He swatted everything out of the air. Including the other player. Dump it inside. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. He strips him clean. Tries for two. It's good. On the outside. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. On the outside. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. A 
Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And he'll kick it back outside. They work the perimeter. Number 11 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, there's a lot of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff can't seem to get anyone in sync. It's certainly not the game we anticipated seeing. In fact, some of these fans around me can't believe it either. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Iona have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Cross court. Picks off the pass. For two. Can't get the shot to go. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. He rejects it. Great play to take that to the basket. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Number 21 is pounded on his way up. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He'll visit the charity strike. He makes the first. Second one, no good. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. The Gale gets up to make the block. Perfectly executed. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Fakes it. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They still don't score. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Got the high pick. He shoots from left of the circle. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. There's a high screen. And momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They're going to have to pull him out and let somebody else out there and let him think about it for a while. 
Steals the pass. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. For two. Doesn't go. Jumps into the defender. Iona are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Let's it fly. Way off target. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Look at these fans. They're loving it. It's crazy in here, Brad. Easy one. The Gales trail by five. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He lets it fly. Rims out. The partner of this one could go right down to the wire. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. The point guard receives the ball. From left of the circle, not there. Look at that spacing. Jumped in front to take it away. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. With the layup. On the dribble, gives it up. You can't get away with that. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 21 steps to the line for the first time. First one, good. Second shot is good. The power forward handles the pass. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Tries for two. Two with a lay-in. We got to see that one again. Here's the three ball. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestle. Horrible shot selection. Dump it inside. Picked off. Woo! 
Working it around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. From the top of the circle, he's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. to the circle. Iona are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Takes away the pass. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Kicks it out. The shooting guard handles the feed. There's a double team waiting there. For two. Up. Easy one. Get back out on the floor. Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. You got to keep pressing. They work it around the perimeter. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Number three is trying to get the fans involved now. He wants the crowd up and out of their seats for the next possession. Looking for a good shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. The power forward receives the pass. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Right, Brad. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. They continue to foul to stop the clock. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession in their timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. And yet another foul. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, no, when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their team. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then a stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situation. So time out on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Just about ready for a play to resume. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. He lets it go. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hogged the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear starting from here. <laughs> he steps up to the line. No rebounding that.
hits the second. A lot of time to go now, Dick, on a seven-point lead. That's right, Brad. A lot of time. They don't need to start forcing shots. He unloads a three. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. Up and inside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Now they work it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Dick, we look now that the game is over at our focus player, and I don't know if it was the defensive focus by the other team, but he didn't have it tonight. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Iona accepts a difficult loss. It's tough to lose such a close game, but these kids can hold their heads up high with the effort they put forth. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.